Meatless burgers seem to be everywhere these days, from fast food restaurants to grocery stores. The newer plant-based burgers claim to look and taste like the real thing while being better for the environment. But if it's not meat, what is exactly in these burgers and how do they taste? Consumer Reports breaks down what's between the bun. The Beyond Burger gets its 20 grams of protein from peas, mung beans, and rice. It's fat from canola and coconut oils and uses beets and pomegranates to provide meat-like redness. In the other corner, the Impossible Burger gets its 19 grams of protein from soy and potato and it's fat from a mix of coconut and sunflower oils. Well, both the burgers were in impressive imitators of meat, but the Impossible Burger was that much closer to a mimic of real meat because of the taste and appearance. Because both burgers are plant-based, you might think they're healthier than an actual burger. But that's not necessarily the case. Both burgers have highly processed ingredients like soy concentrates, isolates, flavors, oils. And they have similar amounts of saturated fat, but a lot more sodium than regular beef. And there's also an unknown ingredient called soy like hemoglobin, a compound found in Impossible Burgers that give it some of the taste texture and juicy bloody look of real beef. We've never eaten soy like hemoglobin before and scientists just don't know enough about it yet. Is it safe? Maybe, but without additional research, we just don't know for sure. Impossible Foods responded saying all the studies it did indicated that there was no risk of allergenicity or toxicity. So if you're looking for a healthier meatless burger made with whole food ingredients, test tasters also tried Amy's California veggie burger, which did score well. But tasters did point out it doesn't try to taste exactly like meat. So 